All right, everyone, thank you. As we gather here today to look at a bit of a bonus slide, which is filters for Ansible. Uh, these filters are Python modules that allow us network automation folk to use so we can call without knowing too much of the complexities of Python. So don't be scared, by the end of this, you'll be able to understand some basic filters and how to use them. Uh, two filters we're gonna be using for today is the IP addressing filter. Well, there's two filters that fall into that, IP adder and IPv4. And we're also gonna look at a simple split join filter and map set of filters, set of filters twice. As we take a look at the goals of what we wanna achieve by the end of this, we wanna be able to understand a bit more about the map attribute. We wanna be able to understand the list and join, and you'll see what that means. And we also wanna be able to be able to recognize and know how to use a bit more about um, two IP addressing filters that we spoke about. So when we talk about where are some um, real use cases that this could be implemented, this could be implemented further in the later section, section 12 we talk about, but you could use it every day in iterating, uh, iterating over a list of VLANs that you'd use on trunk interfaces and connecting up to switch. You could also use this in plays where you want to put an IP address on uh, a Cisco router or a Juniper router, just using iOS interfaces or Junos interfaces or something like that. There's plenty of good use cases for this. Okay, so it's probably time we, we take a look at the first play. So to start off, we're gonna look at the map and join function. We'll, we'll call them filters. So in this one, this is now a local play. We're not playing against any of the um, inventory that we have from the last one, which had what C or CPEs, Linuxes, SRXs. This one is now just a local play self-contained in this folder, thus the local host. We've, instead of using the host vars, we're now injecting vars directly in. And within that, we're referencing them by VLANs and then there's some structured data within that, such as um, the name of the VLAN and the VLAN ID. That's pretty self-explanatory, I think you get that. As we get down to the tasks though, you're gonna see we're gonna use the debug module because we wanna spit this out, these 10, 20, 30, 40, as a single list across the screen separated by a comma. And that's how we implement it on a router and things like that. So. Let's talk about this, this part down here. What we're doing is we're saying, hey Ansible, let's look through, let's look at the data under vars called VLANs. We, we pipe this data through a filter, through a filter called map, and we're looking for something specific, a specific attribute called VLAN ID. That's these ones here, VLANs 10, 20, and 30. And that's the attribute VLAN ID. Once we pull that, data, we pass it through another filter called list. So now we have a structured list of data. And then the last one, we pipe it join, it brings it all together, separated by a comma. And the result we get is this, a listing of the VLANs 10, 20, 30, 40. Now, what we'll do is we'll go and actually make one of these. Actually, let's just do it now. So here's something I may have done earlier, but what we'll do is, as you can see, it's against the local host, gather facts. No, we don't want to gather facts. And here's the vars. Let's just type some more vars in quickly. I want to type in VLANs. Um, we'll do video as VLAN 30. And we'll do um, Wi-Fi as VLAN 40. As I said, we're going to take, we're going to go through VLAN data. We're going to take the, the data using attribute VLAN ID. So it's gonna go over 10. So it's gonna iterate through, and then we're gonna pull out 10, 20, 30, 40. Then we're gonna list join. And I've also got down here what it would look like if we didn't use this mechanism here, because then you would need to do it via a loop. So let's just give this a run. What have I called it? One play. Have I run this earlier? I have. Take a look. As we go a bit higher up, 
Excellent. So that's actually what we wanted, a listing of the VLANs, 10, 20, 30, 40. And if you didn't do it this way, what would the loop look like? It would then spit it out like this. That would be valid on some devices, but it would be easier, for example, if you needed to have all these um, identifiers in one argument, such as switch port, trunk, allowed VLANs off the top of my head, 10, 20, 30, 40, that would be the best way to do it. Make your code more efficient. So the second one we're gonna look at, as I get to it, is IP address uh, filter in Ansible. Um, this one, this one's pretty fun and I'm, I'm confident you guys are gonna take a look at this because this is something you can go and just mess with. And it's also good for other validation. For example, you could check to see if an IP address is valid because it will actually come back and say false. So if you put an IP address of 300.300.300.300, for you that don't know, that's not a valid IP. So it would come back and reject that. But we're gonna start first of all, VARS again, it's a local local play against a local host. VARS, I've just changed it, so we're injecting one called L3 Interfaces, which has a concept of subnet, subnet, which is network, a name, we don't really reference that, and a host IP. And that's, for example, the subnet is 192.168.1, and I want the router interface to be .1, so 192.168.1.1. And we just iterate just as a couple of examples. So let's explore the fun of IP addressing. So if we look at the first one, using IP address network, we get the subnet, so item.subnet, so this is a loop. So we have to make reference to layer three interfaces, then pull the, uh, the value we want. So item.subnet, which is here. We then pass that value, which is 192.168.1, through the filter IP adder. IP adder has a sub argument. Um, this is pre-built called network. So the view is that we would get 192.168, it would tell us what the network is. Looking at the next one, we pass that same data, 192.168.1 for example, through to IP adder filter, this time a sub argument of net mask. So we're gonna be able to be told what the mask is, because notice how right here we've got slash 24. So it's gonna extrapolate that into well, CIDR, so you'll see it's 255, 255, 255 .0. Hopefully, you'll see that as that. Broadcast, once again, it understands what the broadcast IP is based on the network mask. You'll see that. This one here is item.subnet. We pipe that to another filter called IPv4. Now, that's where we then pull out item.host IP. So we're looking for dot one to be appended uh, to to where the zero is currently. So for example, we'll see a 192.168.1.1 IP address. And as I said, we're gonna iterate over so you can see 192.168.1, 2, and three, those subnets are gonna have this whole thing applied. So let's do this. Now, here is something I've done earlier yet again. Um, <clears throat> nothing will be any different except for I've left the first part in, but we can take this part out here. That does not need to be in it. This is what we're focusing on for well, this part right here. And we're just gonna go and save and then execute. So this is called bonus one. So we'll just call save. Ansible dash playbook. I don't need to specify the inventory because I'm actually in that folder called bonus. And the play is called bonus one to combine.yaml. Now this is gonna have a bit of output, so we're gonna make it a bit higher. Excellent. So that's our first part that we've already covered in the last one. Now, what it's done is is it's gone through 192.168.1 network and it's told us one the L3 network equals 192.168.1. The subnet mask equals a net mask. The broadcast, and that is correct, and the L3 assignment. I don't recall, okay, there is dot one. So I did uh, dot 10, I called it dot 10. 
So now you see how that has worked and it's gone through and it's iterated for all of those. Yes, there it was, IPv4. So it's looked at the last octet and it's changed that. So this again is really good for when you wanna stand up or you gotta do a project, um, putting IP addresses on routers or on, um, if you've got SVIs, switch virtual interfaces or what, uh, trunking the VLAN. So it's more of a, a, I've got to quickly do a project to stand something up. I can put IPs on something. I can trunk some VLANs and I can do some very specific things such as iterate over a list and pass that to an argument. So this was basically just a quick bonus one because we do cover off, um, we do actually include the IP adder filter and we most definitely include the um, split join, split map join list in an upcoming episode. So please rewind, have a look at the code, but for now you've got an understanding of how we could filter for VLAN IDs and you've got a basic understanding of how you, what you can do with some IP filters. Um, if you like the channel, give me a thumbs up, let me know. The views are, I can kind of tell my friends that were watching it have kind of dropped off, but hopefully you can pick back up. Thank you all very much. A bientôt.